In this lesson, I will tell you about the principles of licensing in Iridium. You'll learn what a license is, how to choose the license for your project, and how to activate a license. A Iridium license is a file of the IRL format which enables connection of your control panel to control equipment. That means that without a license, only the graphic part of the interface will work and you won't be able to interact with equipment, but you'll be able to send commands and receive feedback from the equipment. There are several types of Iridium licenses. The first and main is device license, a license for control panel which enables one panel to control any device on the basis of the native driver indicated when acquiring the license. Device license is selected for one of Iridium native drivers and enables communication with it in a two-way mode, mode, that is to send commands and receive feedback from them. The exception is for device license, audio, video and custom systems driver, which lets the equipment supported by the audio, video and custom systems driver send commands to the equipment. Equipment where audio, video and custom systems works is any audio, video equipment, format converters, commutators, amplifiers and so on. With the help of audio, video and custom systems, all Iridium script drivers are formed. And in order to add Device License Pro to your project, there's a possibility to work with script drivers. Besides, you can control any acquired driver with the help of this license. You can also receive feedback from Iridium script drivers. For example, if you receive a Device License Pro for KNX equipment, you receive a possibility to work with any Iridium script drivers as well. When you have device license, you can work with the acquired native driver, but you can't receive feedback from audio video equipment. This license cannot be used with equipment of other native driver and on other control panels. Site license is a license for a controller. At present, site licenses work for AMX, Crestron, Canex and IPBS equipment. For other native drivers, there are no site licenses and they can't be acquired. This license enables any control panel on the basis of any OS to connect to the licensed controller. At that, the license won't be able to connect any other controller except the licensed one. Site License Pro is a license which activates a possibility of receiving feedback from Iridium script drivers similar to Device License Pro. So I'll give you some examples of selecting a license for a control system if you need to control Sonos, XBMC, Squeezebox equipment or any other audio video equipment which will send feedback, you'll need Device License Pro for the audio video and custom systems driver. The audio video and custom systems driver enables you to control any audio video equipment, converters and peripheral equipment. If you need to control KNX equipment and don't need to work with script drivers, you can use simple device license for KNX equipment. If you need to control the native KNX driver and receive feedback from the XBMC script modu module, you should buy Device License Pro for KNX. Possibility of controlling audio video equipment with the help of the AVN Custom Systems driver is included in every Iridium license by default and PRO means that you can receive feedback from the audio video equipment. If you want to control an AMX controller from a big number of panels, buy site license for AMX. If you need to control Crestron equipment from a big number of panels, buy site license for Crestron. And if you want to control a Canix IPBS router and an XBMC media server on the basis of the Iridium XBMC script module from several panels, you should buy Site License Pro for Canix. So let's pass over to the work with a license which is done on the Iridium Mobile website in the My Account tab. During your first visit, you'll see a short user form to enter your account. If you don't have your account in Iridium, press the Create a New Account button and go to the form of simple registration. Here you have to write your name, last name, company, mail, password, select equipment you want to work with, and if you can't find your equipment in the list of the supported equipment, add it to the other equipment field manually. So after pressing the create a new account button, You will receive an email with confirmation of your registration and access to your user account, which consists of several tabs. 
The third thing you can do in your account is pressing on the Receive Trial Keys button. Trial keys are used for receiving free of charge licenses, which you can use for testing Iridium products. Trial licenses support all Iridium drivers, they enable receiving feedback from script drivers. After pressing the button and receiving a notification about adding the keys, you should open the My Licenses tab to continue your work with trial keys. In this step, you'll see two license keys which must be activated before assigning to control panels. Trial keys are created on the basis of Device License Pro. They are assigned to identifier of a control device, HWID or UDID of a control device. So you should press the Activation of Licenses button in the HWID or UDID field. You can learn how to add a control device to the transfer application for receiving HWID or UDID in the relative lessons. So after activation, the Download of License File button will be available. This file has the IRL format. It should be saved on your PC and downloaded in the Iridium Transfer application. Trial license will be automatically assigned to the panel, which is it is activated for. You can also deactivate a license twice and assign to another control device. Besides, in the working with license step, you can sort license in any order by creating new folders. So let's pass over to one of the most important moments while working with licenses, purchasing a license. When you have already decided what license to buy, you should click the Buy tab during your first visit here, you will receive a notification that access is denied. Access to Iridium products prices is available only for integrators and installers who have passed a full registration on the IridiumMobile.com. So that's why you should press the full registration button and fill in the form. Here you have to write your company details, address, website, company email and click the OK button. Your request will be sent to a distributor company of your country and the distributor will approve or disapprove your registration. You will receive a message of approval your registration and then you will receive access to the Buy section. Here you can buy Iridium licenses and other extra tools such as GUI templates and script modules. At that, we finish our acquaintance with Iridium licensing.